Welcome to the Vital Life Show. I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, a naturopathic doctor, and today's topic we're talking all about how to cure acid reflux, and it's also called GERD. Uh, a lot of people suffer with acid reflux, and you may be surprised to know, and what, one of the things that we'll talk about today are a number of the causative factors actually are coming from the pharmaceutical drugs that you may be taking. So first and foremost, when it comes to acid reflux, I always do suggest that you're taking a good quality, strong probiotic. Now, not all probiotics are created equal. Probiotics are essentially the good friendly flora that we all have in our intestinal tract. Most of the probiotics on the market are actually made from cow bacteria or soil organisms. The best probiotics are made and designed for the human digestive tract, and that's exactly what we have here at VitaTree, our human microflora. And what this means is that the human microflora works efficiently and effectively to not only help you with your acid reflux, but also to make sure that you're digesting and metabolizing your food properly. So that's first and foremost. Number two on my list would be coral calcium. Now coral calcium is the best type of calcium that you can take. Here at VitaTree we've created VitaTree whole food calcium which is a fossilized coral calcium. Really easy to digest. It's in a powder form and you just take one scoop a day and this can really help with those acid reflux symptoms. The reason being is that it's alkalinizing to your system. What that means is that in an acid environment with acid reflux there's too much acid in the stomach and the esophagus and this is what causes all the symptoms of the burning and the uncomfortable feeling especially after eating. With the coral calcium because it's an alkaline formulation what happens is it helps to decrease that acidity right on contact so I literally tell my patients to you know make up their glass of water with their one scoop of the whole food calcium from VitaTree and you can actually be sipping this you know over an hour or so especially when you know the time of day that your your acid reflux really bothers you and sip this and it is absolutely remarkable in what it can do and actually totally eliminate those symptoms of your acid reflux. And number three on my list is the causative factors. So if you're taking any of the following drugs, this could be why you have heartburn or GERD in the first place and acid reflux. So first on the list is ibuprofen as well as aspirin. So both of these, these are painkillers, of course, over-the-counter painkillers that do cause acid reflux. So you have to ask yourself if you're taking you know, these things, whether it's for pain or inflammation, and it's causing you the side effect of acid reflux, is it really the best way to go? There are, of course, more natural ways to treat pain and inflammation. I encourage you, if you do have a chronic pain issue, take a look at our Vita Joints and Vita Fish Oil. That combination, which you can find at vitatree.com is the, really the best and most natural way without any side effects to treat any type of pain and inflammation. The other types of drugs that are notorious for causing acid reflux are the bone drugs. So helping with osteoporosis like Fosamax and Actinel, they are again notorious for causing acid reflux. So of course you're taking one drug to help one symptom which is your osteoporosis, Yes, yet it's causing your acid reflux. And then most likely if you go to your doctor, the doctor will prescribe the next drug to to help with your acid reflux, which then in turn causes the next problem. So again, you really have to be mindful of what you're putting into your body and try to always do things in the most natural way possible. If this is your case, and again, our whole food calcium and our vitamin D3 and magnesium is the best combination for helping your bones. If you're taking any type of relaxer, so a, a sleeping pill, whether it's Valium or Diazepam, this group of drugs also is very famous for causing acid reflux. So if you have sleep issues, find a natural alternative. Do things naturally. Check out our other episodes on our VitaTree YouTube channel about helping your sleep patterns because this can be really helpful for you and important again that you're doing it without side effects and doing it naturally. Iron supplements can also, of course, cause acid reflux. So if you do need to take an iron supplement, I usually recommend that this is taken earlier in the day and get one that's better absorbed. They're not all created equal and iron supplements can be very difficult on the digestive tract. So make sure that you get an iron supplement that's easily absorbed and hopefully will not cause you these symptoms of acid reflux. Also antidepressants. So antidepressants, again, are famous for causing acid reflux. So if you are depressed or you have an anxiety disorder and you're taking something to calm down your nervous system, 
it may be causing the acid reflux, which in turn, you go back to your doctor and you'll need another drug for the acid reflux. And you can see sort of this chain of events, this domino effect that happens, which in my opinion is totally avoidable. Always do things the most natural way possible. Check out our other episodes here and be sure to subscribe to our channel here at Vitatree on YouTube because we're always updating and giving you the best natural health information. Again, from my perspective as a naturopathic doctor and what I've seen over the past 15 years with working with my patients as to what works and what doesn't work. Again, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Vitatree, and remember that your health is in your hands. You have the ability to live a healthy life, the vital life, and to be without those symptoms of acid reflux.